Right, so we've had many rumors floating around about micro LED, but when exactly are we gonna see it? Well, we have two reports today that kind of contradict each other, but let's delve into it because it gives us a rough idea on the release and exactly when we should expect our first micro LED Apple products. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so beginning with the elect, they say there's no development of micro LED displays anywhere within Apple's supply chain. So that basically tells us micro LED for the time being is not coming to any devices. So yeah, that's pretty bad news. And to be honest, for the last few years, we've had a ton of reports regarding micro LED coming soon, but no one's been able to give us a precise release time frame. And so yes, I'm not entirely surprised there's no sign of the development of this tech, according to the elect. But now let's delve into Nikkei Asia's report that completely contradicts this because they say that there is active development on mini LED panels. So to paraphrase what they're saying, they say the industry is going to be moving towards smaller micro LEDs that measure under 100 microns and can express primary colors without the use of a filter. But more importantly for us, Apple has invested in micro LED and is said to have an active development program in this field. So yeah, that's completely different from the Alex report. And to be honest, the sources themselves are pretty equal in terms of accuracy. So I do not know who's right in this situation. Now, in my opinion, I do see it kind of being a mix of both. I do think Apple's invested in micro LED and they do plan to give us this tech very, very soon with their devices. However, there is a chance that development on micro LED has been halted due to possible component shortages. Since of course, many of us know that 2021 has been pretty rough for manufacturers since many components have not been in stock. I mean, for example, the M1 Pro MacBook Pros was supposed to launch at dub dub, but due to mini LED shortages, Apple had to push back the release. And of course, if mini LEDs being affected, I can see development of micro LED, which is even harder to produce, being significantly delayed. And that does explain why there's been a plethora of reports regarding OLED iPads and MacBooks. Since of course, many of us thought the next step for these devices would be micro LED from mini LED and not OLED from mini LED. But if development of micro LED panels has been halted, maybe Apple's using OLED as a stopgap till they can resume work on micro LED. And by the way, in case you're wondering, micro LED is a better version of OLED. So it's brighter, more power efficient, does not have any burn in and also has better response times. However, some of these improvements might sound a little familiar and that's because we have heard about the double stack OLEDs, which actually bring a ton of these improvements. And so again, I can see why Apple's using OLED for the time being since they are much easier to produce. Now as to which products should get the micro LED upgrade first, it should be the smaller devices with the smaller displays that are easier to produce. And so that basically means that we should see the Apple Watch get the micro LED upgrade first. And then of course it makes its way to the iPhone, the iPad, the MacBooks, the iMac, and also the Pro Display XDR. Now as to when these transitions could take place, we can't be for sure since of course, we are assuming the development of these micro LED panels have been temporarily halted. And Minchi Kuo has also recently mentioned there is no production schedule for micro LED just yet. And so yes, the tech is still very early in the development cycle. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPod Touch 8. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.